Hey, you sexy bitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hey everyone, how are you? I hope you're all doing well. Uh, I'm doing pretty swell. Am I the only black guy who uses the word swell? But uh, anyways, today I'm going to take you into Miller World. I'm going to take you into Mark Miller's latest graphic novel, Huck. Let me show you the back cover. Uh, Huck is written by Mark Miller. And let me show you inside the actual graphic novel. It's a beautiful looking graphic novel. So Huck is written by Mark Miller. Uh, you may know Mark Miller from... Wanted. Nemesis. Wolverine, Old Man Logan. Kingsman, The Secret Service. Kick-Ass. And Captain America Civil War. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to take you into the graphic novel Puck. What I'm going to do is, don't, don't make this weird now, it's only weird if you make it weird. What I'm going to do is, when I count to three and snap my fingers, we, were, we are going to go on a journey, put it that way. I am going to take you into Miller World. I'm going to take you inside the actual story, inside the graphic novel, Huck. Are you with me? All right. Listen up now. On the count of three, I'm gonna stack my fingers. One, two, three. Let's go to Miller World and let's go to Huck. Huck is written by Mark Miller. It is about a polite gas station clerk named Huck who secretly uses his special superpowers to do daily good deeds. When his story leaks, a media firestorm erupts, bringing him unwanted fame and all these other things. Huck's past begins to resurface. It's no longer clear on who his friends are who, or who he can trust or whose lives may be in danger for that matter. So recently, it seems like Mark Miller is starting to tone down, tone down his very hardcore, well-known style of storytelling. He is starting to tackle the superhero genre in a new way. It's almost, it almost seems like he now wants to write comics that, are possibly, that possibly inspired him when he was a child, seeing and reading about superheroes like Superman and Captain America. So Miller World truly is an unpredictable world. On one end, we get stories like Wanted, that focuses on supervillains, sex, violence, and drama. Then on the other hand, or on the other end, we get a story like this, Huck, that focuses on good deeds, good people, honesty, overcoming your shyness, protection, striving to do well, love, protecting the innocent, and compassion. I read an interesting comment that said, this is Forrest Gump mixed with Superman, and I would agree, and I actually like that. You see, our main character, Huck, is a quiet man who was blessed with superhuman strength and superhuman kindness. He is very well written. You can't help but love this guy and cheer for him and relate to him. For example, one minute he is, you know, saving the world, the other minute he is buying lunch for everyone. That is one of my favorite things about this story. This story has a message. A message of, you do not have to be well known or expect anything in return, or have super or superpowers for that matter, to do well in our society. Also, the artist of this comic is the same artist from American Vampire, and it really is the glossiest, smoothest, the, it's a very colorful graphic novel, and one of the best, um, artwork I've seen in a Mark Miller graphic novel or comic series in quite some time. This comic's visual style really helps the tone of the story. I love the front cover of the rising sun settling on our main character. I feel like that's almost the artist telling us, you know, a hero will rise and a hero will shine. That sounds weird. Now, even though Mark Miller is one of my all-time favorite writers, I do have to be honest, this isn't his best work. On the other hand, um, it's still very enjoyable. This book also has many similarities to the movie Man of Steel and the character Superman. 
For instance, in the movie Man of Steel, Superman wants to, you know, stay on the down low, but General Zod comes and exposes all his superpowers. And that is almost the same plot as this graphic novel in a way. Furthermore, I thought um, the story could have been just a little bit longer. The story and our main characters all change in a heartbeat. But everything is very heartfelt. But I would like to see um, the story stretched out a little bit, at least by two or three issues. Everything just felt a little fast paced for my taste. So these are my final bitch and Buddha thoughts on the graphic novel Huck. You know, in a world where it seems like people are not good citizens anymore, this book is a reminder of, you know, we can all be good citizens. It's a great book with great values, and, you know, it's not the best series in the Mark Miller world, but I enjoyed it. I believe this earns an 8.5 out of 10. Thank you all for coming with me to Miller World. I think I'm going to stay here a while. Until next time, don't just get down, but get boogie.